First at five tonight, a quick response time for Concord firefighters after flames and smoke filled their own fire station. And these are pictures right here of the truck that caught fire earlier this morning. Now it's the second fire truck Concord Fire has now lost this year. Morgan, you actually spoke with the chief today. I did, and obviously things can be replaced, right? He's thankful their own alert system woke up the staff that was sleeping in their beds when the flames started spreading. Inside Concord Fire Station 8, a fire and water restoration crew worked to wipe soot off of surfaces. Shortly after 4 this morning, the guys who normally come to other people's rescue found themselves putting out flames. You don't typically see fires or think about fires uh, in your current facility. Chief Jake Williams says he was awake this morning when the alert came through on his phone. The five firefighters who were inside all made it out thanks to a robust sprinkler and alert system. When you're in this line of business, there's always the unexpected, right? So uh, they train for uh, unexpected things to happen. So the, the crew here performed extremely well. The garage was filled with smoke after the reserve ladder truck caught fire. Still, later that day, the smell of smoke and burned material lingered throughout the building and into the dormitory. Charred pieces littered the ashy floor. Crews were able to get their main fleet, Swiftwater rescue truck and safety officer truck out of the garage before turning their efforts to smothering the flames. With the exception of a deep clean and garage door replacement, damage to the fire station will be manageable. The truck, however, is toast, an estimated $1.2 million loss. Anytime that you lose one of your companies uh, definitely impacts your operational uh, standpoint for having a reserve. Um, but we do have different vendors we've reached out to. I mean, we've, you know, we've had another fire truck recently just got totaled on the interstate. Um, we had a vendor supply us with a rental fire truck, so there are rental fire trucks. They determined the fire was electrical and Chief Williams says they're working with their insurance company on next steps. In the meantime, he says the community can rest assured their response times won't be impacted and Station 8 remains open. The only time this company was out of service, they were on the call for the fire inside their building. So there were no injuries to report. The chief says this is a good reminder for others that having smoke detectors can save lives. Uh